Today we're going to take a look at the welding cabinet from Harbor Freight and this is basically a welding cart on steroids. It has a cabinet on top of the cart and then you put your welder on top of that. It has a place for your gas cylinder behind it so it's perfect for a MIG and it has lots of drawers so you can put your welding accessories in. So it seemed like a great idea. I picked one up uh, yesterday as a matter of fact and we're going to open it up and take a look at it. Now I've pulled the contents all out of the box. I've laid them on the table so you can see what's involved in putting this together. For the most part, the box and the drawers are already together, so that'll save you a little bit of time there. And the contents are basically the tray that everything sits on and some wheels and uh, some other stuff. I know that top drawer gets divided into small portions, so that's what these are. And uh, you know, those are hangers. Uh, as far as the quality, everything seems to be built, you know, about what I would expect. It's uh, just as good as my Yukon cabinet and uh, everything looks good. Uh, it's a little beefier than I expected. Um, at least it feels beefier. I did check the gauge on this and we were looking at 16 gauge on the steel. It looks like it's a powder coat. Uh, these back here are actually 1 8 so the hangers are a little more beefier, but everything else looks really nice. Uh, finish looks good, quality looks good. Let's get it together and see how it works. Now everything went together pretty easy actually. It took me about uh, 15, maybe 20 minutes to put this together. Uh, most of the cabinet you know, is already together. It's in the box. All you have to do is put the accessories and arms on and to put the plate on the bottom. Uh, not a big job at all. And I really like the quality of the cart. The cart is actually very nice. Uh, it seems to be built out of decent grade steel and uh, it's pretty sturdy. There's some features on it that I do want to show you. And those were actually features why I bought this cart because I did a little bit of research before I bought it. Now, the first thing that I really wanted was some type of cabinet where I could keep the consumables uh, out of the way and out of the environments because I also do a lot of sawing and welding and grinding in my garage and uh, things get dirty very quickly, specifically helmets and gloves and things like that. So I really wanted a cabinet style, uh, which this has. And these drawers, they have a little bit of a lock on them. So when you shut them, they kind of snap in place and then they don't open. So when you're wheeling this cart around, they're not gonna open on you. As you can see, the first drawer has some dividers in, which is great for consumables and things like that. It keeps you organized. It's a little shorter drawer than the rest of the drawers, but these drawers, they're really long. And you can see, they're, they're, this one's perfect for like gloves and you can fit the rolls of wire in there too if you're using the MIG. They fit pretty good. The drawers are long enough to hold uh, welding tubes, which is awesome because I do a lot of stick welding. So I can drop those down in there. It keeps them out of the environment. And then the, uh, the bottom, the bottom actually has a, um, it's like a flapper door. You can scoot it out of the way. And it's big enough that you can absolutely put a welding helmet in, which is awesome because my welding helmets usually get filthy. So those are some of the features that I really liked about this cart. It does have a rubberized handle around the top, so you're not gonna scratch it up. It feels good to the grip. And it does have locking wheels as well. So when you're tugging and pulling on it, you're not gonna move it around. There are a couple of hooks on each side of the cart so you can hang your hoses and your cables on, keep them out of the way. There's also some safety chains for your tank on the back. And as I said, the steel on the bottom is thick enough to support this cart without any issues at all. So putting this heavy tank on it really wasn't a problem. Now, overall, I am really pleased with the quality of this cart. It seems to be built well, it was well thought out, and it works for my environment. I can keep all of my stuff dust free, and I have a relatively large welder on there, the Omni Pro 220, and it handles it without any problems at all. I did, however, make one modification, and that was the tilt on this handle was pretty extreme, and it got in the way with the den plugs on my welder. So all I did was just uh, take this bottom screw out when it was tilted, I straightened it to where I wanted it, drilled new holes, and put the very same screws back in, and it worked out great. If you take a look at the picture on the box, you can see what I mean. The pitch of the handle is pretty, pretty steep. Uh, I don't know if other welders would have this problem. Probably not. The Omni Pro is actually a pretty big welder. And uh, my guess is probably one of few that the handle just gets in the way, but it really wasn't a big deal. So I leave you with all of that information, hoping that helps you decide if this is the cart for you. I do believe it is a good bang for the buck and I think it's really well built. My videos are normally build it yourself orientated. I do a lot of stuff myself and I like to video them and show you how I build them. So if you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos and at the very least, you might be entertained.